Welcome, my dear students, to week two for biology. This week, we will start of, uh, talking about the uh, nature of matter. Now, we will go to the chemistry of life in regards of how chemistry is related to biology. Uh, we, we will Then this week, we will start with the nature of matter. Then we will go to the, um, uh, the description of, uh, of carbons and macromolecules. Then we will talk about water and water properties, enzymes, and how it works. But we will go through them in details. Start uh, start off, we will talk about the uh, nature of matter. Nature of matter, in this lesson, we will start talking uh, identifying the three subatomic uh, particles that make up atom. Like now, be, notice that we are talking pure chemistry now. Why pure chemistry? Because in order to understand the anatomy of the living organisms, we need to tell the students of how and what uh, your body component is. So we need to start with the smallest amount, which is the small living things, which is our, uh, the living organisms, which is made of elements and atoms, which are used to build up a large molecules of life. Now, by the end of this lesson, we should be able to identify the component of an atom and how the atoms uh, can be bound uh, to each other. Then, after that, we need to talk about, uh, uh, to uh, explain how all iso, um, isomers or isotop, uh, isotopes of an elements are similar and how they are different from each other. Then we need to talk about the components, how they are different from their component element. Yani, what is the difference between them? Now, first of all, we need to talk about atoms. What does it atoms mean? How the atoms are made uh, and what they are made of? Atoms made of three main components, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Now, when we are talking about protons, they are the positive charge that we can find inside, inside the atom. Neutrons from their name, neutrons meaning neutral. Neutrals, that means that has no charge, neither positive nor negative. It's found inside also uh, the, um, uh, the nucleus or inside the atoms, and it's compared to, compa uh, to maintain balance for the uh, for, uh, for the atoms, in compared to the electrons, which uh, which are the uh, the negative charge that found outside the atoms, and they are what they found outside uh, outside the atoms and give the negative charge. Normally, positive and negative protons and electrons are equal in numbers. Now, either gaining or losing an electron causing the atoms to become what to become ionic, having an charge, whether it was positive or negative charge by losing or adding electrons to their, uh, to their, to their, uh, to the total number of, uh, of atoms inside it. Okay. Now, the subatomic particle, the subatomic particles that make up atoms are protons, neutrons, and electrons, as we just said. These are, if you can notice, these are the outside, are the negative. You have the blue one, which are, these are the uh, neutral one. That means that has no charge at all. And then you have the proton with the positive charge found in here. Okay, so you have the positive and the neutral inside and the electrons outside. Now. Atomic number. When we talk about elements, we need to know about the atomic numbers. Now, what is the atomic numbers? An element is a pure substance that consists uh, entirely of one type of atom, either oxygen, carbon, hydrogen. It's an it's only a uh, consists of one. Now, explain. We need to know the different elements that have different number of protons that has an atomic number now let's for example we are talking about carbons carbon has a atomic number of six that means that the total amount of atoms in the carbon is called uh, they have six now how they are distributed this is we will talk about it later but it has a six uh, a number of six atomic numbers okay as you can see in this picture now Isotopes. What is isotopes? What is the definition of isotopes? Hello. Because they have all the same number of electrons, all isotopes of an element have the same chemical properties. Mean that they 
they can share specific types of uh, chemical characteristic that you can find there. Now, we are talking about carbon. So if I'm asking you what, how, many, uh, how many protons do you have in the carbon, it should be six. Uh, does the carbon always have six protons? Yes, they have. Do you think that the protons uh, number of a carbon uh, will change if the carbons they change in their public in their position? No, all all carbons has a six six protons. Okay. So if they have six protons, then how many electrons they have? They have also six electrons. So always all the time protons and electrons they have the same number. Okay. Now carbon. Uh, will form bond with other atoms and in this case it will share electrons with other atoms so this may be causes to adding gaining losing a number of electrons as you can see now this one this this will have either losing or gaining electrons which we will go through them in details later on Chemical component. A chemical component is a substance formed by chemical comp a composition of two or more elements in defined with pro uh, proper preparations, yani different preparation. The physical and chemical properties of a component are usually very different from those of uh, the elements from with they form. Yani when you have hydrogen, hydrogen properties alone different from oxygen properties alone. When hydrogen and oxygen bond together, they will form H2O, which is water, which is also a complete different characteristic than other than the one that you start off, which is hydrogen and oxygen. Thank you for listening.